Hi everyone, I'm Jenny and today I want to shine a quick spotlight on Watcher Works, especially well on smaller wrists, which is also going to be the first video in something that might become a series, who knows, the IVWC Spotlight. So let's get started. So I have mentioned the IBWC a couple of times before, which stands for the Itty Bitty Wrist Committee, which me and many other people in this hobby are a part of. And because it's not always as easy as one might think to find a watch that fits smaller wrists, I give my IBWC stamp of approval to watches that work well, especially on wrists that are 170 millimeter or 6.69 inches or smaller in my videos. And so I thought, why not make a series out of it so those watches are quicker to find. And now we are here, the first IBWC spotlight featuring the Panerai Luminor Duo. Oh, and please let me know in the comments down below if the series is something you would like me to continue and which smaller watches you would like to see next in this. Right, so I am first going to start with showing you the watch and giving you a quick rundown of the stats. And in the second half, I'm going to talk about what makes this one especially well suited for smaller wrists. Okie dokie, so first let's start with the case dimensions. This Luminor Duo right here comes in a 38 millimeter case without the crown. And with the crown, it's 42 millimeter with a thickness of 11 millimeter and a lug to lug of 46 millimeter, which is the same lug to lug as my 36 millimeter Oyster Perpetual, for example. The case is made from 316L steel, same as the Tudor Blackbeard 58, for example, and is polished entirely. This unusual case shape we see here is a modern tech on the classic cushion case, and Panerai made sure to make the lines and edges extra flowy and soft. What I do want to point out here real quick is the side of the case. It's not just, you know, rounded off, but it tapers very beautifully into this very subtle edge, which I think looks really cool. The unusual crown guard is a Panerai trademark and lets you pop the crown in and out by raising or lowering the lever so you can set or wind the watch. The lug design supports the unusual case shape and ends in this beige or light brown, light gray strap with a quick change system and a stainless steel pin buckle. The dial on this variation has this eggshell white or milky white color to it that works really well with the light brown details and the strap. I would say that overall this watch has a very cappuccino-like feel to me. Then there's also a handy date at three o'clock and an unusual small second sub dial at nine o'clock to balance it out. And you know it wouldn't be a Panerai or a Luminor for that matter if they didn't include a good amount of luminous material on the dial. So everything that is beige or brown, however you want to call it here, lights up in a very bright green as soon as it gets dark. Unfortunately, we do not get an exhibition case bag here, but inside beats Panerai's P900 caliber with a three-day power reserve and a water resistance of up to three bar, which is an equivalent of 30 meter. Right, so that was it for the hard facts. Let me now tell you why this works so well for smaller wrists and what makes this one so special to me. I mean, there's obviously the case dimensions and size itself, but there are a few other main points I want to highlight here. First up, what you get with this is pure Panerai design DNA without the huge case. It's that simple. I know that Panerai is a hit or miss for many, but I really, really like them. But the standard sizes feel very uncomfortable on my wrist personally, so I really like that this smaller watch doesn't feel like a compromise that you have to make, but a fully fledged Panerai. Secondly, I think it's great that this one blends together those rather unusual design elements like the crown guard or the case shape, but still makes it look versatile enough with its style to make it work in all kinds of situations. I mean, personally, I think this one could look just as good with a suit as with a jeans and t-shirt. And I mean, if I'm spending that much money on a watch, I want to, you know, wear it. Lastly, so point number three, I want to say how I think it is absolutely fantastic Fantastic that Panerai offers not only lots of different strap colors and designs, but also strap lengths, which is so important, especially for smaller wrists. I mean, it's always great when a strap on a watch has enough holes to work for smaller wrists, but what's even more important, I would say, is the length of the strap itself, especially for the IBWC. I mean, take my Seiko tank, for example. Though it has enough holes to make it work for me, the strap is rather long, so you get the end sticking out like that. And I mean, it's not the end of the world, I know, but to me, it feels a lot like how I, you know, had to wear my brother's old clothes growing up and they would never really fit me. And, you know, you could always see that it was just too big. And I think the same goes for the strap. But I mean, look at the Panerai strap in comparison, because this one is an extra small or, you know, just like a shorter strap. It doesn't stick out as much and I cannot tell you enough how good that feels. You know, nothing is poking out or, you know, getting caught in a sleeve or something. You know, it just 
feels so much more fitted or bespoke and like someone actually sat down and thought about what makes smaller wrists happy and I really appreciate that. And so that was it for my IBWC Spotlight, the Panerai Lumino Due. What are your thoughts on a smaller Panerai? Something you would go for or is small and Panerai in the same sentence blasphemous to you? Also, let me know if you want to see more IBWC spotlights and which watches you want to see next in that series. And that was it. We are at the end of this video today. If you have enjoyed this, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye.